Yo, this True Trailer from the Old 50 Boys. This Prince AK. This your motherfucking boy, Reek the motherfucking kid. And you watching B Sean. I actually live right up the hill from, you know, Tretch and Naughty by Nature. Um, actually, all of, the, all of the members are Naughty by Nature. And, you know, just right across the way, you know, was Red Man. You know what I mean? And then you got Queen Latifah that's not too far from there, you know. So just growing up in the midst of that with Laws in the Underground and, and, and coming up and watching all these guys become successful from the same kind of environment and area that I'm from, you know, it's just inspiration. You know what I mean? And then a lot of times I would get a chance to actually, you know, um, you know, Naughty by Nature was tangible. They were right you know, down the street from me, you know, and, and exactly where I went to school at, you know, the block where they lived that was right there. And my best friend actually lived on that block. So actually seeing them every day and them showing love and seeing what they can do, you know, up close and personal, you know, that just got us in a situation where it inspired us. And um, we just start rapping ourselves. You know, music was a big influence on my whole family. You know what I mean? My, my mom's cleaning up all i heard was disco music you know what i mean and the beats i'm hearing today is nothing but the same thing that i heard that my mother was listening to you know what i mean so when i was younger listening to disco music even hearing the sugar hill gang it was just like wow that's a whole sugar hill gang you know what i mean uh, uh slick rick um i remember when 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 MC Shan and TJ Swan, they had a song that was uh, crazy. When I was younger, I used to rock silk shirts and shit. I was like in the fifth grade. I was like in the fifth grade. I was wearing silk shirts. I used to hear like songs like that just inspired me. I go get a chick number, sing it to her on the phone. You know what I mean? Hip hop had a big influence on me, man. You know what I mean? It, um. It stayed in me. Once I heard it, it grabbed me, and it's and it's still here. You know what I mean? It was it was a couple few artists on my block. I don't know if you remember Monica, Precious. She was big overseas and everything too. Um, back in the day, around like '80s, her and La Kim. When I saw them, and they up close, you know, up close, like True was good. You know, back then they called me JD, Ding, little Ding Ding. So hey, Ding, it was good. I'm like, oh, but it was right there. So I knew that one day I could do it too. You know what I'm saying? And them two raw right there. Watching younger groups, hip hop groups, like illegal, you know, they, they were at the same age bracket that I was. So watching like illegal or even another bad creation when I was, I, I was like, dang, if they could do it at that age, so can I. So, you know, that was a lot of people may not say that, but I, I watched those guys, you know what I mean? Being, you know, 11 years old and watching them guys the same age do the same things, you know what I mean? So that's one of the things that, you know, definitely was like, damn, you could do this. Another thing I think was the highlight uh, my my best friend was actually my my first rap partner that I was with, uh, Jay Black, and um, we did a performance and we had a talent show, and um, we actually did Hip Hop Parade, um, where we actually played Naughty by Nature, and uh, once I seen how the crowd responded to what I can do, even though I was rapping someone else's song. It was, you know, it, it, it put me in a certain kind of high where I was like, I want to do this. And um, it just it just grew from there. This when I was young, I seen a show. It was Slick Rick and Dougie Fresh. I watched them perform live and it was crazy. Just to see that the energy from the clothing that people wore to the beatboxing to everything. It was just crazy. And I wanted in on that. Like, I want to be part of that. You know what I mean? So it was, it was, it was a beautiful thing, man. You know what I mean? I appreciate hip hop from way back when I was a kid. We was on Chadwick, and uh, it was a cipher with Meaty Murdoch. Do it all was there. It was a lot of people there. Chris Webber was there. Shout out to Oleon, and him and Redman was going at it, and Meaty was dropping some bombs. And he said, "When I bomb like Saddam, I know y'all heard Red say it later on with Meth, but shout out to them too. That's Murdoch and that's Doc." One of the things that. Uh I started doing what my first group is, um, we would make mixtapes and different things like that. And at first we were actually with a production company. 
So kind of uh, we were put in a situation where we were leaving the business aspect up to them and we were doing the creative part, you know what I mean? So, but as far as us taking our mix CDs and going out to the city and um, going out through the streets and selling them, you know what I mean? Like out the trunk, that's one of the things that we were trying to do to get our name out there too. Since we established this 050 boy thing, you know what I mean? Was doing hella videos, you know what I mean? My man Tretch used to say, just beat the internet up, do a whole bunch of videos, you know what I mean? Just flood them with stuff, you know what I mean? Somebody gonna like something. So, you know what I mean? When I started, started doing a lot of videos. I was putting a lot of visuals out to the people to get noticed by the people. So, in 2012, they noticed me because I was the top 50 underground artist in 2012, you know what I mean? So I made the top 50 underground, so you know what I mean? The visuals and staying hard in the studio, just grinding, you know what I mean? Held me down. You know, early on I was dealing with IOF, Psycho War, BOD. It was all the same thing. We kept reinventing ourselves So um, with the times. And um, then came with 050, we just been branding hard from shows. We ain't trying to sell nothing. When they saw us, they knew we was the super group. I'm telling you, we used to go to shows. Man, I'm telling you, they were like, oh, man, here they come. I'm we tear it down. And at the same time, share it. We ain't tear it down and move. We, we should tear it down and build other people up. My mom was like, you ain't no rapper. <laughs> and then, you know, after she seen how serious I was about it, she's probably one of my biggest fans and supporters that I have right now. You know what I mean? So shout out to Mom Dukes. But um, my family, after she got behind me, you will see all of my family get behind me also because they always knew that I was definitely creative and into art, period. I mean, drawing, painting, just anything artistic. So they was always up for that. So they, they just looked at it like this is just another form of art that he's interested in and they got behind me. So. My family and everybody, everybody appreciated. They, 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 they appreciate it highly. They're very happy that I'm doing something positive. It's not even just my family. I'm inspiring the whole ghetto where I'm from, the South Ward, and the people from North that know me. You know what I mean? When they see me doing it, they could say, "Oh, I know him. If he, if he doing, I know I could get out there and do it." So I'm inspiring a lot of people right now. So my family, they. They appreciate me doing this, you know what I mean? They want to see it get bigger than what it is right now. They love it, uh, especially with my family. It was just music in the house, you know what I'm saying? Just music in the house. Started with my grandmother, with uh, Teddy Pendergrass, and, you know, she went deep with the Manhattan. She was deep. My mom was with Teddy, but back then it just it was in the house, and I just think music is the universal language to calm things down, if you use it right. It's therapeutic to me, you know what I mean? Some A lot of times, a lot of times I may feel happy, I may feel passionate, I may feel, I may feel like um, even I'm upset at the time, you know what I mean? But a lot of times music enables me to, um, you know, put those things on paper and then express it that way through creating music. And a, a lot of times it's therapeutic because I get to get out those emotions, you know what I mean? You know, sometimes you may be angry and make the wrong choice, but instead of making that choice, when you put it down in music, you're able to release it, you know what I mean? Or sometimes you may feel happy and you want everybody to know you happy, you know what I mean? So it's just, it's therapeutic for me. So. That's one of the things. Um, the other thing is performing. That 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 sense, I, I can't even explain the feeling. When you got everyone in the crowd with you vibing and they really feel like, damn, these guys is dope. That dude is dope. You know what I mean? It gives you a certain kind of, it makes you feel powerful. You know what I mean? When you up on that stage. So it's, it's a feeling like I can't even describe. So those are probably the two things that I really appreciate about it. Us three as a whole, with us all three being different in styles and the way we all spit. So we all got the advantage to just be who we are. You know what I mean? Because when you see me, I'm a character. You're going to get that from me. So me being able to put that in my rhymes and deliver it out and bring it with that energy and charisma and all that, it's a good thing. Like, I'm feeling good about all this stuff, man. Just that, to, to use it, to be able to express yourself for something good. Because they say a man is measured not by his power, but what he do with it. So 
you got to look at music like that. You know what I'm saying? It ain't about us, it's about what we giving you. I actually was able to create a project on my own and put together a video and things like that on my own. So just me coming from a group of three previously before I was with the 050 boys, me being able to be a solo artist and do that stuff on my own, that was really um, empowering for me, you know what I mean? And um, the other thing is, uh, just like Prince Ox spoke about, um, being able to create this album, Everything 050, and actually see it through, complete it, and now be in a situation where we went from branding all these years, we went from getting our name out there all these years, and people internationally actually are awaiting our album and showing us love and respect because of our music ability, our sound, and the work that we putting out, you know what I mean? Even we got people like Tretch and Do It All who actually give us advice, but then they able to look at us perform and say, damn, you know what I mean? It's, 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 that's inspiration in itself. So, you know, that's one of the things that I really love about it. My first video, Loyalty, that's one highlight, but recently, um, you know, Tretch from Naughty, he gave me a job as his hype man when uh, he does his Naughty Nation job. So the biggest highlight of mine, honestly, has been me going to China to perform with Tretch and being on a plane for 14 hours. All that, you know what I mean? That was, that was like the experience ever. Coming straight from the corner, never traveling, and your first trip, with a passport is to China. Yeah, I mean, and it was crazy and performing and they appreciating you and they not asking for nobody but you, showing you the same love like you was a star forever. So, you know what I mean? That was a big highlight for me, man. You know what I mean? We did loyalty and um, first time we did it, we told them to throw the L's up. We had, it was like a sea of L's up, everybody. It just, and you could see the look in people's faces like they was just, they was done. Like, wow, this is crazy. It's back, hip hop is back, so. I feel like I always kept myself in a balance where I was always pushing for, you know, different goals. I have another passion where I, I love working with youth and helping them to grow, even musically, like teaching them engineering and songwriting and things like that. But working with youth, I never stopped that. So I wouldn't say that music ever played a part in, you know, stopping me from doing something else, but I will say it played a part in me, you know, growing as a person and um, becoming a better artist and uh, just uh, being able to uh, keep myself out of trouble and not getting so much into the streets, you know what I mean? And getting involved with the negativity because, you know, it's always kept me on a positive note. And if I wanted to be successful, I couldn't be in two places at one time, you know what I mean? So I'm proud that we completed a whole album. This is my first time ever completing the album. This is my first time ever being in the group. This is my first time ever releasing any music. And um, it's a good look for our brand. I'm glad that we is, we established uh, an entertainment company because um, we've been branded for so long and we never sold any music. So I'm proud that we finally got something that we about to drop on August 4th for the people and that they'll appreciate and I'm proud that we 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 we've been moving, man. You know what I mean? I'm, that we started from the bottom and we on our way up, man. I feel good about it. To explore, expand, and to learn. You know what I'm saying? Like we learn on, we learning that we learning so much, and just to be able to capitalize and expand on it, and to know what we expanding on, oh, it's just beautiful. Not just going through and not knowing what you're doing. We learning, we learning. It's a blessing that this genre of music, a uh, hip hop, and which is all over the world is just be able to, to express yourself to the people, you know what I'm saying, bro? And they get it, you know what I'm saying? Because we, we know different from you. I try to be the best MC. All of the MCs that I watch, the great ones, um, Rakim, Cool G Rap, LL, um, even Cool Mo D, KRS-One, um, even Hove and Nas, all of them always wanted to be the best at what they did. And that's one of the things that inspired me. I want to be the best, you know what I mean? So I, I, I hope that in years to come, you know, people will be able to say, damn, I'm going to put him in that list. 
uh, one of the greatest MCs, you know what I mean? And then one, another thing that I would like to do is see all of, all of us, myself, Prince Op, True Trilla, you know, successful as a group and able to have our company um, at, a, at a place where it's, it has been built so largely, you know what I mean, where we're able to then bring up other artists, you know what I mean, from, from our area and help them to become successful. So that's one of my things. Hopefully we, we make those songs that the people appreciate um, and we're, that we'll be able to do 10, 15 years down the line, you know what I mean? So this is, the, this is where we at now. We, we trying to make those songs that the people will appreciate 10, 15 years down the line. We don't want to just be artists from now. We want to be artists that can do it a decade later and still get the same love and respect from our music. So right now, we just trying to get the people genuine music, original, and not 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 sounding like everybody else. So we we want to get the people something different, and you know inspire them that they can do it too and make it happen you know what i mean we want them to remember the jewels in the song yo i just watched bt well um smoky robinson was like yo stop being stuck on yourselves we say that in the rhymes like you know what i'm saying so to us we holding on that 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 cloth that was already woven from back then to them we just adding on to the material we ain't changing the color so that's we ain't stuck on ourselves so just mind the jewels the jewels that we say I know you might like the flow and all that, but like, woo, he, woo, you heard it? When you feel it, that's what we want, you know?